So today we're actually doing a comparison video to the um, Grishko 2007 Pros to the or the Pro Flex and the Grishko 3007 Pros. Now for all of you who don't know, they made this new 3007s and I got them in the same shank so they're in the same medium shank except I have these in a bigger box because I borrowed them from my sister. Um, there are 5X and these ones, I'm normally a 4X because my feet are a little bit thinner. And um, yeah, I just wanted to show the differences because I wanted to know what the differences were. But when I tried them in the store, I actually found that they were the same. So I did a bit of research and I'm going to read that to you and I'm sure we'll put this on as well. It says that um, the Grishko 2007 Pro Flex are now named Nikolai 3007 Pro, 3007 Pro Flex. So besides the brand change, I mean there was a brand change if you guys didn't follow it. There's so much YouTube videos on this but um, the shoes maintain exactly the same features with addition to the new anti-slip. So I did feel that. Um, the reason why I really wanted to get another pair of Krishko 3007s was because when I used them, I loved that it had an anti-slip feature. So the fabric material on these ones, if you can see, they're suede. And so when you wear them, it doesn't slip, which of course as dancers we really hate. So normally it would be a lot easier for the heel to slip. Right now it's like a lot less on yeah, the slipping. I always hate heels that slip, so I'm sure dancers would love this. Um, I haven't exactly tried them, although I, I had a pair a month ago. It's just that I gave them to my student because she needed the shoes more than I did. So yeah, and then I've also noticed, and I'm not sure if it was because it was an old pair, but I noticed that the string of this one or the drawstring of this one is not the carterized type, like these ones. I'm not sure if that is like different per model or per place that they sell it, but it's the garterized type, so it's a lot nicer because, well, you know, like it's flexible, unlike these ones that are string and then they kind of stop at a certain point. And then, of course, with the lack of the suede heel and everything. And then it says here that if you've been wearing your Shko shoes, you can assure, rest assured that the look and the fit will look exactly the same. And so, I do agree because when I first tried the 3007s, I thought they were different. But then when I tried them, I realized, oh, I love them so much more than my 2007s. And um, the glue, I read somewhere, I just need to look for it. <laughs> they say that the glue is also different, so it molds better to your feet, which is also great. I've also noticed something, although I've already darned these, um, these are very hard. We all know Grishko 2007s are like rock hard. They're like the standard everyone uses the Grishko 2007 hard. And then I've noticed that the Grishko 3007s have, and it's already wooden floor here. It's still hard, but it's pretty hard at the top. But here towards the end of the box, especially considering that this is already hard and it's still this hard and you have this then I don't know maybe it's because I used it but I only used it once it just looks like this because it's how I use shoes but I really love it the look is also really um, similar and then it said actually here that the heel was made lower for the 3007s but then when I compared them I'm not really sure how much lower that was because it's not really so different. Although I did get a bigger box size on the 2007. I don't know why it didn't make a difference, but yeah. So it doesn't make a difference at all. Yeah. But the look, I will show you guys. So we'll show you the 2007s first. These are normally my shoes. I love them because, well, 
I love them. I've loved them since I was that same. Yeah, and uh, still the same. These are the 2007s. I'm the most comfortable with these. So we'll go through it. Let me just stand up. So. show you guys oh, okay there so yeah this is the shoe or the shoes after use um yeah they're still very hard i really love them i mean they always say that these shoes are like the standard and they're like they fit like 90 percent of the point shoe user population i do agree I love Grishko 2007s, but let me show the Grishko 3007s and just compare how they look like. Yeah, I didn't have to tie these, but I tied them. <laughs> Okay, so let's try. We'll just try them. Okay, so instantly I can tell you, well, maybe because these are older, and I feel like the Grishko um, 2007, they're less shaped for some reason compared to these. I, mean, I have no idea why. But um, there, instantly, because it's an elastic, even if I didn't have ribbons, um, it looks more snug also. I'm not gonna tie these, I'm so sorry. I'll just probably remind them. But... I'll just ribbon them so you, no one is bothered by, <laughs> by the string that's coming out. Because I am bothered already by the string. I want to cut it. But... Yeah, the feel is actually safe. The look is almost safe as well. I do feel like it actually has more of a shape here. So it does feel like the heel is actually lower. Although I haven't sewn in the garters and the ribbons. But it kind of reminds me of Freed's. I don't know if you guys see that. But if you've seen Freed's shoes, like often they cut really nicely here. And I do see that on these 3007s compared to my 2007s. Maybe because the box is smaller, it's more shaped to my foot compared to the 2007. So let me just pop this on also so that you guys can see the difference of the 2007s and the 3007s. And maybe I'll try to wear them without the... <laughs> yeah, they don't feel so nice. <laughs> so I think it's just the string that's bothering me. drawstring being garterized compared to these ones that are straight so I guess that's the main difference and also I just like the cut of where the heel falls and so it makes the shape of the foot a lot nicer although I do have to note that these were wrong like a size up like if I would have gotten a bigger a smaller box I think the shape maybe would have been the same I mean I can always sew the sides anyway it's just that these ones are a lot nicer <laughs> like shapes the foot a lot nicer also yeah so all in all <laughs> so it's the ball so all in all i do feel like if you are a 2007 user you'd love grishko 3007 pros especially since the 3007 pros like the the shoe feels a lot more like has a pre-arch although i get i've only used this now compared to this one which i've used once or twice um, so we can't really compare and also this one has a smaller box which fits better to my feet as well so I do feel like these ones are more comfortable in a way because maybe they're more fitting to my feet compared to the ones I borrowed from my sister <laughs> which were a lot bigger 
Anyway, but um, uh, I do think that the 3007, sorry, the Grishko 3007 Pros are worth a shot if you're a user of 2007s. I do have a review on Stream Point, which is a new point shoe that I really love. So Grishko released their Stream Point line, and I don't know if it's called differently because I saw them in Japan and they were called something else, but I'm pretty sure they were the same shoe because they didn't have the drawstring and then they had the nice V-cut and so your feet would be shaped so nicely and then the sound also on the floor was really nice it's nice that Grishko is coming up with all of these new shoes although similar, they make really small changes that are really effective and um, that's bothersome I mean, who would want to... I used to sew in my tights and my shoes just so that my heel wouldn't slip and or put look up last on the inside just so that it wouldn't slip on my heels. So I'm pretty happy about the fact that they put the um, anti-slip kind of heel so that it wouldn't slip. So yeah. But I hope that this kind of gave you an insight on Grishko's 2007s compared to your 2007s. And I do want to test this out more and maybe give an updated review on it when I have some time. But otherwise, I hope that you enjoyed this one. And it's been so long. This is quite the way my new studio so I hope that you yeah enjoy seeing vlogs from here as well <laughs> so yeah anyway thank you everyone and I hope that you enjoyed don't forget to click on the like and subscribe button if you like this video and don't forget to give us some comments suggestions whatever else or tips that you want I'm working with so much new people this year so it would be a great time to get in some tips and everything thank you dancers